Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you are at. In this edition, we explore a Van Lee fifth wheel, a Beacon 42 RDB, a very nice and quite luxurious and upscale fifth wheel indeed. Up front, you get a closet, then the bedroom, then there's a restroom, and in the middle is your dining room, kitchen area, way in the back, a substantial uh, lounge area. Here's some of the paint finishes and uh, cabinetry that's available. You can make this Van Lee Beacon your own. This is Jesus Manuel Benagarza. I just wanted to say that the first part of this video is going to be narration, and the second part I'm going to be actually using the mic here and doing a play-by-play, -play, as they say in baseball and football. So the reason why is because I-35 West is right behind me, and it's super, super noisy. And this unit right here is right next to the highway. So let's get the video started. Yes, I-35 West can be rather noisy. Very, very noisy, in fact. <laughs> and it was the uh, middle of the day on April 14th. 2021. Here's a view of the beacon. I really like this uh, darker color. I really like it. Uh, it's very different from the lighter, more farmhousey uh, sort of interior, but I like it quite a bit. Up front, you get a very nice uh, fiberglass uh, front cap. You get a Rotoflex uh, pin box. You have an area there that's already prepped for a generator if you want a generator. And here's some of the wiring. I just thought I'd show you a little peek. And back there, they even uh, include, as part of the deal, a surge guard. I like that. So uh, your electrical system won't go uh, up in smoke <laughs> by accident. Here's your auto leveling system. That's appreciated, too. There's a lot of features in this upscale uh, fifth wheel. Again, uh, when you get an upscale fifth wheel, they throw in everything as part of the deal. Very nice. To the right is the utility area, and right over here is the uh, pass through storage. Very nice construction. I like how they do the wells on this uh, uh, Tiffin product. Very nice. So there's some of the uh, items that you can control. Uh, various uh, tank flushes, uh, hoses, filters, uh, you know, for different situations. Uh, you know, sometimes you're uh, boondocking, sometimes you're having full hookups at the resort. It's your option. And yeah, let me move this door. Uh, metal, I like metal. Some of these are, these slam latches are plastic. These are pretty solid. You get a 30 pounder on each side, very nice. And of course you can see the leveling jacks too. There's a water heater and the exhaust for the regular heater. To the right you got a slide out. And right under here of course you have the heated and enclosed underbelly and one of the terminations right there. And you have a fast, uh, quick uh, propane connect right over there. There's the uh, rack and pinion slide out mechanism. You need a rack and pinion slide out mechanism for something so substantial and specifically for the kitchen area. Here's a shot of the tires. So those are pretty nice rims. What do you think? And of course, these are Westlake uh, 215 slash 75R 17.5 regroovable tires. And these are Lippert Components Road Armor uh, suspension. That's an upgraded suspension. That's appreciated. There's a shot of the uh, pass-through storage and the slide from the uh, rear lounge area. Very nice. Yeah, these uh, doors went up rather easily. Those pistons definitely work. You have some alternating current. You can see some of the nice wells. Uh, they do a great job at uh, Tiffin. So this pass-through has different areas where you can access, and the hardware is super high quality. Of course, this has a retractable 50-amp cable. I shot this video at Explorer USA RV Super Center in Fort Worth, Texas. As you can tell, they're right across from I-35 West. A very noisy highway indeed. Let me back up and show you this unit. You can see there's one, two, three slides on this, and you get a gigantic uh, pass-through storage. And of course, that roof is walkable. You can go on that ladder and install a, you know, several panels of uh, solar. And there's the chairs that go up front. You're not going to see uh, those chairs inside the kitchen area. You're going to see them out here. We haven't put them in yet. 
and it goes in and out. That's a nice sliding tray. What do you think? So let me back up and show you the two slides on this side. So you got a total of five slides and there's a shot of the ladder again. I was planning to go on the roof but uh, I forgot to. I apologize. I'll never do that again. So there's again the two slides and the pass-through storage area. Let me show you some more of the pass-through storage from this side. Why not? I'll do that for you. Since this is a modest slide, uh, it can have the uh, Schwintech mechanism. It doesn't require the rack and pinion. Not only does this Tiffin have a lot of cargo space, but it has cargo carrying capacity. 3,400 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. So that's a good thing to have. And there's the Level Up uh, by LCI again, a uh, product, uh, their uh, leveling system. On a fifth wheel, it's almost <laughs> mandatory. Here's a slide out, and it has its own little awning there. Very nice. Let me slide over here. And there you can see the Lippert Step Above Steps. I guess they're a big fans of Lippert products. So you get four steps there. Quite nice, quite nice. It reduces the amount of jounce and bounce when you go in and you go out. Uh, you don't disturb the folks as they're in, while they're inside relaxing, watching the football game, okay? More pass-through storage over here. You have various receptacles, a vacuum cleaner, antenna connections and some tools in case the uh, electricity goes out, etc. etc. And there's your DC shutoff switch for your batteries. Very nice. And of course, a Magnum Dimensions pure sine wave inverter. That's uh, probably going to you know, power your refrigerator, your residential refrigerator that's inside. Here's the other 30 pound propane tank. Let me back up and make sure not to bump into anything. This is a beautiful, absolutely glorious uh, uh, Van Lee Beacon fifth wheel. We've got a bunch of them here. I just thought I'd show you a quick shot. They have various manufacturers uh, all over here of Redwood. Uh, all kinds of stuff. Of course, the Flagstaff products. Let's go inside, and uh, in a few seconds here, I'll be uh, uh, talking live instead of doing this narration. Uh, let's get ready for that uh, transition right about now. Now that I'm inside, it's a little bit quieter. Let's take a tour of the uh, galley kitchen area. You saw the chairs there in the back storage in the pass-through, so you could fit four chairs here very nicely. This is solid surface. This is a uh, painted wood, it looks like. You get one, two, three windows. And what do you think of these uh, valances? has this uh, gray insert and white painted wood here and the same on the slide up in the kitchen let me back up a bit get quite a bit of uh, storage excellent storage at that so if you want a finely uh, detailed product of course you get a Van Lee or a Redwood or something like that they are very well designed and uh, very well finished, like solid surfaces, nicely painted, plywood box construction, painted uh, uh, solid wood fronts, and they got these undermounted uh, slides and they're soft clothes. Okay, let's check out this little section over here. Uh, that's where they hid the fuse box. Very nice, keeping the uh, upscale, uh, ooh, there it goes, nicely softly closing. And right here you have some storage for your dishware, etc. I think it's absolutely flawless. And of course, uh, what do you think? They have a very nice, very high quality hinges that you can adjust in case they get out of whack. And again, you get six specific compartments uh, for this and soft clothes, of course. This has a glass and then behind it is a wood, which is a very interesting choice. It's a very nice uh, refrigerator. It's called the Thin Q Inverter Line by LG. I have an LG refrigerator. And here's the lock right here. Let me see if I can get this without uh, causing any major issues. There it is, open. And let me close this so I don't bang over there too much. So 
This is one side of the fridge. You get some very nice, very high quality uh, you know, shelves here. Very thick, again, very nice. This is a residential refrigerator. So that's why you need that inverter, so you can power this. Very nice. Again, very high quality, an LG product. That's uh, recognized in the United States for being high quality. And uh, so you get two shelves down here in the freezer. You can put quite a bit of stuff in here. When you come back from your fishing trip, you can freeze some fish and put it down there. Right over here, that's a very interesting effect. <laughs> that light is hitting the one of the items over here and making this uh, surrealistic sort of look right now. So we've got one, two, three right there. Let me open up one of them. This is a deeper one. Again, uh, full extension drawers, all metal underneath glides, no side glides. Uh, this uh, black sort of handles, white paint, you know, nicely applied with box, soft gloves, okay? Let's go on this side, take a peek. Again, nicely painted, two levels, and soft clothes. Very nice, very nice. You got two levels there. And more levels up here, and it, the light goes on when I opened it. Very nice. Motion sensor, I would think. Quite a bit of storage for all you full-timers or your upscale campers. Very nice. Let me uh, close these. I'm not even going to close them all the way. I love them closed by themselves because, again, they are soft gloves. Get some nice little uh, lighting uh, treatment up there. You get a nice Dometic, a very powerful fan up there. And you got the treatment for the lights up here, you know, LED strip, etc. Let's go over here and check out this uh, kitchen area. Again, solid surface countertops, a Furion, a large Furion microwave, and you get the insignia four burner kitchen, uh, stove top, and oven. This is residential. Straight up, okay. This is very high quality. Not a three burner, not a two burner, a four burner cooktop. Look at that. Cast iron grates, very large. See my hand? <laughs> this thing is gigantic. Solid surface countertops, and on the side, you have uh, some receptacles. This would be a perfect little spot for a good size garbage can. So, with this kitchen, you have to be doing some cooking, okay? So, let me open the oven up. Let me put that down. And there you go. Look at that. Very nice. You can definitely roast a, you know, 20 plus pounder turkey in there. No problem. No uh, little baby, t you know, chickens. You can put a whole turkey in there. Very nice. And of course, this is an insignia. This is pretty much the top of the line uh, brand for uh, RVs right now for stove tops and ovens. And again, very nice storage over here. More storage here. Two layers of storage. And over here, let's uh, turn around and take a peek at this storage. You get two doors there, three doors there, and one and two over here. This is a perfect spot for like coffees, uh, you know, coffee maker, a blender, uh, whatever you want, a juicer. And you get two levels of storage here. I imagine the other side and a soft close of course. Solid surface countertops. I like that. And you get two levels of storage here and two levels of storage there. And uh, again, nicely painted uh, fronts with solid wood fronts, plywood box, full extension drawers with the uh, slides underneath. Can't complain about that. You got three of those. So right over here you have a refrigerator. Let me go first check out the kitchen. Oops, I just bounced into the refrigerator. You got three drawers right there, some receptacles here. You got a nice, nice farmhouse sink. And this area over here, again, a good spot for your chemistry, air, your uh, garbage can, whatever you want. So yeah, since this is such a large, very nice, you know, fifth wheel. You have tons of space. You have tons of space. Look at this faucet. This is nice. 
very nice sculpted, very high quality faucet. Got again receptacles here. Let me show you another drawer here. Why not? There you go. Soft glass. And what do you think of this? Uh, very nice. I just backed up into the uh, oven and it started igniting the non-existent propane. I had to <laughs> touch something over there. So again, here's a shot of the island. Can't complain about that, huh, boys and girls. And this is your fridge. You could put some bottled items here. My wife uh, drinks red wine, so she doesn't need that stuff, you know, too chilled. Just pretty close to room temperature. I would keep up my uh, Diet Coke, my Diet Pepsi, stuff like that in there. And down there, it's a little concave. Very nice. So you get one, two, three levels, and then you get this other underneath section down there. Let's go upstairs and check out the living area. Got a nice handle there. You have controls for your sofa slide, your TV lift, uh, your master lights, etc. And you get this nice little handle. So from left to right, you get these super, super cushy uh, sofas. You get a TV that uh, is on a televator. It means it goes up and it goes down, up and down. And you got a fake fireplace, a space heater. And you get the Furion sound system. Two speakers. And this is a very nice Furion system. Two speakers. You can always add a top of the line, two, three, four, five hundred dollar sound bar. And it would sound ten times better. But that's up to you, you know some light fixtures there and some of the treatments. And this is an LG TV, by the way. There's some receptacles. Here's the other sofa. And there's your uh, two uh, very nice recliners. These are made in the USA, apparently. Let me turn this around, my camera. Wait a minute. Oh my God, this is nice. Ah, oh, these are very nice chairs. Top of the line, soft, very nice. And this is the perfect TV watching position. The only upgrade I would make is put a very nice sound bar up there that actually has a you know good sound. Those two little uh, puny uh, Furion speakers are okay, but I'd prefer a nice sound bar. I'm just spoiled because I have sound bars all over my house, in the bedroom, in the living room of my house. So again, you have some controls over here and you have some spots right there for USB and it says right there, made in Los Estados Unidos Americanos. Actually in English it says made in the United States, okay. You have some receptacles down there. You have a lighted area for your cup in case you uh, uh, need some assistance in locating where your cup is. It has living room accent, sofa, uh, controls some blinds right there and up here you have some storage that goes all the way across so what do you think very nice and here's some of the accent lighting in the uh, slide out okay so let me pan from left to right you got your two little uh, actually they're large uh, some of your big boys and girls your 250 pounders you know your big strong guys and girls you can fit in there puny guys like me no problem and then you got the uh, sofa over here and let me turn around and show you the other sofa again uh, there's the uh, two lounge chairs and this is the other sofa so you can have a good six people here easy and I'm talking about big people not not no puny people okay Let's check out the uh, the window uh, treatment. They have one, two, they have the uh, dimming, and they have the darkening. So they have the day, the day, and the night uh, shades. Very nice, very nice. They didn't, again, cheap out. This is painted wood. An upgrade would have been, uh, again, that solid service material. Let's go up here. 
into the bedroom and then we come back to the bathroom, okay? In the bedroom you have some more controls right here. Bedroom lights, hall lights, light master on off, bed slide, reading lights, okay? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful bedroom. Very classically designed in the European tradition. Uh, a little bit over the top for my taste, but I still like it quite a bit. I'm pretty sure my wife would love it. Some nice window treatments, nice uh, headboard, and nice windows. You can have a cross breeze from left to right or right to left, whatever's convenient for you. And then you have these drawers right here. One, two, three, four. And you have two more down here, and they're all pretty much the same slot size, so I'm only going to open one up. Again, plywood box construction, nice, nicely sanded. Solid wood door fronts, metal handles, full extension drawers, and they have the uh, slide mechanism underneath. And you have a nice, this ain't no cheap TV, this is a big TV. Looks like a good 40-inch uh, TV by the folks at... Uh, LG. Again, the day, night, uh, shades there. Get a little surface there. And this slides left to right. So you can uh, move it left to right. And to the right, you can see they have some storage right here. Some very nice storage right here. Okay. And it's, uh, from what I understand, I would think behind door or one of these doors is the washer and dryer connections. Maybe not. It says right there, center line for a dryer vent. So I don't think so, okay. Over here is some uh, storage areas. Some uh, receptacles. Some areas to hang your clothes and you have to one section here with a light, two, and then three under there. You get three areas. Very nice. And of course, this opens up from this side. Let me show you this side real quick. I like it. I like it very much. And you have some USB uh, receptacles there and alternating current receptacles there. So they give you some different tones a light tone here, dark tone here, and a white tone there and you have the inserts and of course you have the accent lighting again same here alternating current and USB connections right there and some more controls way over there for your uh, odds and ends to control some of the features okay and you have some receptacles right here okay so let's go check out the bathroom now of course you can lock this door and keep out the riffraff. You don't want anybody bugging you while you're uh, relaxing in your bedroom, okay? Solid surface countertop. Looks like a porcelain sink. Very nice uh, faucet, you know. I like it. And then you have this corner. Soft clothes, of course. Medicine cabinet. And you have another medicine cabinet over here or some towel storage. It's up to you. It goes back about a foot, and it's two layers. Soft close again. When you're in the shower, you can leave uh, some clothes here, or get some new clothes and just hang out there so when you get out of the shower, you're ready and dressed. And of course, you have some controls there for your hall lights, the bath ceiling, the vents, etc. And you have a sprayer for your toilet right there, and of course, a very nice towel pick. Toilet paper. Foot flush toilet. And of course, you have a fan right here, a Dometic fan. And here's a shot of the shower. One piece fiberglass shower. That's an upscale feature, period. I've seen some two piece plastic ones recently on some fifth wheels. Again, this is an upscale fifth wheel. This ain't no budget fifth wheel, okay? Get a nice area there so you can sit. And it doesn't go up that high. It's only like about six inches from here to there. And you have 
a very nice shower. Let me go inside and check it out. It says right here that the fiberglass is repairable. So in case you get a little ding, you can uh, get it all fixed, okay? I got the camera around and I'm in the uh, shower. Let me fix my hair, make sure I look appropriate. Soft ceilings, very nice. And so I get about mm, three, four inches, maybe four inches. And uh, in here, in here, you could probably uh, fit uh, maybe somebody that's uh, six foot three, six foot four. So if you're tall and big and strong, of course, you're always strong, aren't you? Uh, this would be perfect for you, okay? So I like it. So very nice. I can fit in here relatively easy. I can move up even a half a step and a full step back. And I get a good size amount of room. I'm not talking about amazing amount of room, a good amount of room. Let me turn around the camera. So what do you think? So here's another view of the bathroom, the uh, medicine cabinet, the area there where you can hang uh, some clothing, or a robe, it's all up to you. And let's get out of here. And let's go in the living room and finish this video. Another shot of the kitchen, a very nice residential refrigerator and a residential oven and microwave stove top, of course. And you got this little area again, like I told you earlier, perfect for some wine, some beer, or some cold beverages, okay? Let me put down my little tripod and uh, turn around the camera and finish off this video. Thanks for checking out my video. This has been Asus Manuel Menagarza. I'm at Explore USA RV Supercenter where they have a ton of inventory of fifth wheels. And this is a very nice fifth wheel. What do you think of it? It has a certain appeal. Uh, some of you may say, nah, I don't like all that white and I don't like all those uh, upscale features. I want something simple. Well, they have that here too. So give them a buzz here at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas, right off of I-35, very noisy I-35 West. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share i would greatly greatly appreciate it thank you very much ahead of time and if you have the time please leave your kind and super 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 fabulous and generous uh, comments and questions uh, under this video again thank you very much and let me see if my hair is all right my hair has been in some of my videos it looks like i'm uh you know the bride of frankenstein pretty bad okay so again check out my patreon page patreon.com slash J.M.M. Garza. Again, a super thank you very much. From Explore USA RV Supercenter, checking out a very nice uh, Van Lee Beacon. Uh, this is upscale, seriously. This is serious upscale fifth wheeling. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.